Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. This is Rugged Pro Wrestling. I am Austin Fouts, and I am joined with none other than Daniel Rhodes. Daniel, how are we doing? I'm doing amazing, Austin. How are you? Doing great. And let's get things started right now with the Rugged Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship match. Lars Metzger, Colin Anthony, who will walk out champion? Here we go. Things getting underway right now. Let's see the champion, Lars Metzger, defending his title against Colin Anthony. And there he is, Lars Metzger, Rugged Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. And he is not happy about being here at O-Line tonight. Lars Metzger was informed that he was contractually obligated to have this matchup in O-Line, and he was not too happy at all about it. There we go, the nameplate for Lars Metzger showing up right there, ladies and gentlemen. Lars flipping the bird to the crowd here. We're in a, uh, a packed house here in Irvine, Iowa. Lars Metzger just could not care less about being, oh, look at this mocking the fans here. Lars Metzger, he made a promise. They said, hey, we need you in Irvine. You have to be in Irvine. He said, I promise you, you will regret this. And he is vowed to make Colin Anthony pay for taking this matchup tonight. Oh the, oh, the monster wants to speak. Oh, come on. Let's just get the action underway. of Nikki said before. He's taken down the likes of frontman John. The thing is though, those are all big names. He is in here with the kid who has nothing to lose and everything to gain. And that is a deadly combination if you go into this underestimating that. Death stare at Lars right now. Colin trying to get the crowd hyped up. Get it behind his back.
Metzger showing up that title. Letting Colin know, telling Colin there's no way in hell he's taking that strap from him. The coveted Rugged Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. The most prestigious title in the entire Midwest wrestling scene. Referee Dirty Dan showing off the title there. Getting this match underway. Colin trying to get the crowd nice and juicy for him. There goes the bell. There we go. Face to face now. There's Metzger also. Oh no! Did you see the look change on Lars's face? That was all oh, good! was a smart idea for Paul and Anthony there. Oh, man! Not smart at all. Lars Metzger has been enraged! Just choking him there on those ropes now. Oh, just choking him out. Lars at the face of referee Dirty Dan there. You better watch out. Don't want to get himself disqualified. Yeah, just go in and get I don't think Lars cares. If he gets disqualified, he keeps the title either way. Ooh, big chop right to the chest of Colin Anthony there. Shirt off, young Colin. This isn't okay. Colin's dad's in the crowd watching this. This has to be uncomfortable. But look at this, Colin. Just stay down, man. Metzger, his exact words where he's got a big plan this year. He's got a lot of stops left to make, and he's not gonna make, he's not gonna allow the card to be changed. He's saying there's no way Colin gets past this. He demanded these matches be announced. His upcoming matches, he is scheduled. Ooh, big boot to the face by Colin. One of these men's going on to face Duke Cornell in Falls City, Nebraska in a ladder match. Look at this, Colin coming back! No! He got caught! Oh, oh goodness! Every time you think you've seen it all, Lars Metzger just gets more and more aggressive! Just destroying this young cat! One, two. two, oh, you have got to be kidding me. How? The look on Lars Metzger's face says it all. The pure look of what the hell was that? There's no other explanation. That's exactly right. I don't think Colin realizes that he just kicked out. Lars Metzger, he's feeding up for it. He's feeding, he's getting him, he's telling him to get I, the I've hell up. I've seen this before, Austin. So have I, and it doesn't end pretty. Bam! Oh my, one, one two, two, three. three. Oh my God. Lars Metzger has made an exit. Oh, look at that, I am saying good night, buddy. The disrespect for Lars Metzger. Ladies and gentlemen, still your rugged pro wrestling heavyweight champion, Lars Metzger. Jeez. Lars Metzger is talking his trash. 
He told everybody exactly what he was going to do. Now we have referees down there trying to check on young Colin. <laughs> Lars Metzger looks irritated by it. number two, Timeless Tyler Jones, stepping in the ring with a young and hungry Zane K-47. Let's let King Surf take back off. So much heart. Man, it's been one match and I've already thrown my voice out from yelling. Who's ready for match number two? Free Dirty Dan making his way back the to the ring. The next match is another singles match, and welcoming to the ring first, we have Timeless Tyler Jones. <laughs> No way, there's no way I'm touching you. Tyler Jones, my former best friend, my former tag team partner, has gone on to the dark side. And he is letting everybody here in Old Wine know just that. He does not give a damn about you or your feelings. He is here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to get W. Mocking fans now. Timeless one, Tyler Jones. An absolute legend here in the Midwest. Only eight years into his young career and already classified as one of the top athletes in the entire scene. Celebration. We had Tyler Jones. It was actually this very match. Tyler Jones versus AK-47. Will the score get even more in his favor, or will Zay be able to pull ahead and make the score a nice even one-to-one? -one? Tyler Jones still talking trash to the crowd out there. Obviously, this crowd is like this. Can you blame them? Can you blame them? They don't know him like I do. They they see this crabby time. Oh, look at this. You people like him? You said. You people like him, huh? You 
people really like him? Come on, Tyler, get the ring, buddy. Tyler Jones, the king of procrastination. There's definitely a title he has been earning as of late. It's AK-47, not quite sure what to make of this. He came here to fight, and Tyler Jones instead seems more interested in talking to the crowd. Tyler Jones now in the ring. You people want to see me punch him square in the face? No. Gets him up in the head. Gets him up in the head scissors. Oh, Tyler able to hold on. Not for long though. Another takeover. Something that that needs to go uh, needs to be said. Because AK47 has absolutely been killing it in the gym. If you look at transition photos, as this man has been going from your average everyday Joe to the biggest, baddest SOB on the block. It's AK-47 putting on tremendous muscle mass. And congratulations to him for all that work. Now look at him calling Tyler Jones a chicken. Is this still a chicken or what? The crowd let Tyler have it. Absolutely. Here we go for another tie-up. Oh, muscling back to AK-47. That's a couple of breakage. Oh! That sucker punch from Tyler Jones. Rose, under. Ooh! Gets out of the way. Oh, but eats the boot. Second match of the show, and fans are already getting their money's worth of the fight going out in the crowd. They, oh, wait, no, Tyler, don't do this! Can he get him up? Zay says no! Oh! Where's he going? What's he gonna do? Come on, Zay. Oh, big crossbody oh, on the high stage. risk. Yeah, I don't think Tyler got all that. Let's high go, risk does equal high reward in some cases, but, it, but that's why it's called high risk. You're risking it all. And I do worry. Zay favoring that knee a little bit and his ribs. Taking Tyler back to the ring. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, let the oh. kids have it at Tyler. 
Now wait, now wait a second. Now I'm, I don't like Tyler, but I'm still pretty sure that that's not legal. They stock it. Tyler calling for a timeout. Too bad, but but look at that. Gets out of the way. Pulling Zay face first into that turnbuckle. Now just put the boots to him. Flexing on the ref there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, choking choking him out. Come on. <laughs> wow. Jay's not going to be able to take too many of those. I think he's still going to win this. Big whippy. Reverse. Oh, see, here's the thing with it, about this kid Zay, man. You keep too much time taunting. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh wow! Go for cover. Two. Only two, though. Focus, my man. Getting right back on the attack. I don't feel like wasting time tossing as well. Well, the thing is, is this this isn't just about getting the W. They want to humiliate their opponent. Locks it. He comes back with one of his own. Oh, but it gets shut right back down by T. Jizzle. Come on, let's hear it for him. Jay! 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 Stops here. How Jones is sitting there thinking, what is it going to take to put down Zay K47? Trying to, trying to get all the air out of young Zay. He gonna go for though. Uh oh, he slid down the knee pad. That exposed knee. Oh, sidestepped him. Got him up. One. Oh, only one though. Oh, Tyler, still raising it up. Backbreaker. One, two. Oh my God. This is only match two of the night, and it is definitely. A candidate for show stealer. A look on Tyler Jones's face. He looks absolutely disgusted by Zay K47. What's he gonna do though? Send Zay into the corner head first. Tyler Jones up on that middle rope. One. Two, three. You ain't like a girl. You ain't like a girl. Four. Like oh. I'm gonna watch out. He's gonna get in trouble there with the ref. Wait a minute. Power bomb. Power bomb from ZK. This is your moment, kid. This is your moment, kid. 
Zay trying Going to go up back to up the top. middle rope. Oh, oh my God! Oh, got it. him! Steps off. Big one. How about another? Drop kick right to the chops of Tyler Jones. They're telling him, come on! Zay's geeing up! Who's ready for it? Well, he's going for the full Nelson! Throws him off! Catches him! Oh! The time heist! One! Two! Three! Tyler Jones picks up the win! What a match! Wow! Tyler Jones with a huge victory over his AK-47. Daniel, I'm gonna let you keep talking here. I'm gonna be right back. It was a big win for Tyler right there. Wait, where, where did Austin go? Come on. I can't do this by myself. Where? Typical Austin, just leave it. Anyways, let's get going with the next match here. Referee Dirty Dan coming back out to the ring. Here's King Serp again. What did you guys think about that match? Wait a minute. Then? What? Yeah, yeah, so what did you guys think of that match? Let's go ahead and keep this night rolling. Let's go. Is that... Are you kidding me? Leave me behind so you can get your five minutes of fame. Always gotta steal the show. Well, while he's out there, let's let's just see what what Austin has to say here. We heard there's a there's a big announcement coming tonight. As always, the old one crowd loves, loves, loves Austin Bouts.
150 years. For this community, I'm pretty cool, right? And I think it's only fair that, you know, we're going to throw those things home. We're going to throw those things home, right? Wait, what? Who in the world? Nah, can that be? Oh my god! It's Supernova! Scummy Cow Cassidy? Blake Bannon? Ever lovely Ringo. This town definitely, definitely hates Supernova. And they haven't even had a chance to get started yet. Blake Bannon right there, mouthing off to the crowd. We holy cow, holy cow. Oh, is that? Let me get in on it. Let's inside. For Taz Bufuego. You are the worst commentator of all the times. Now look at this. Here we go. Who's this one? Oringo jumps up on the apron. Dance, dance, dance. Austin really left me a brown Bufuego. Somebody had to do it. You sure won't. Oh, make it a beeline for Mr. Sands. All these guys up and covers right now. Young guns trying to make a name for themselves. We have uh, Austin Fowles. We Big tie up there. Blake with the headlock. Come 
wrenching it in. James Stone trying to get free though. Big blows off the ropes. Ducks it. Big kick. Big drop kick. Oh, nobody home in the corner there. Ooh, big backbreaker there. Off the ropes again. Big boot right to the chest of James Stone. One, two, two. Supernova clearly making a statement right now. So back to his feet. Big elbow. Another big elbow to the gut. And another one. Oh. Big kick right to the side of the face. Here comes your boy. Ducks it. Ooh, big punch. Another one. Another one. One more. Big leg sweep. One, two. One and two. One, two. Just cleaning his car with that. Cassidy bringing Andy back up to his feet. Toss him in the corner. Ah, oh, no. Ooh! So you all heard that over your chair. I bet his chest does feel spicy right now. Ah, oh, no, not another. Ooh! Another one. Two times. Wrenching the arm of Andy there. Going back in. Tags Blake Bannon back in the match here. Comes Blake Bannon. Tagged into the match. He's a loser now. You are Trash talk at the crowd there. Ooh, choking him right on the ropes. Come on, break the cast. Right by his partner. Not a very uh, solid, that's smart, not a smart move. move for not him. a smart move at all for Mr. Blake. Blake. Ah. Oh. Now going up to top. They got to be careful though. He's only got a count of five to get back outside the ring. There's only one legal man in or out. Pressing down on the arm. Rich in that arm yet again. He's got him up. Tag. Now, what do they got planned here? Big punch right to the gut. Torquing that arm again. Tag Cal back in the match. Ooh! Kick to the front, kick to the back. And he's down. Referee Dirty Dan checking on Andy. Cal's top of the crowd here. Wasting precious time. to capitalize. Not this much he's, he's, Austin's got to be careful here, though, because he interfered. Oh, you saw it. 
those dirty, dirty boys. No. Oh, my God. Oh, the leg of Andy. Mr. Faust was telling them to turn around and look, and now he turned around and look, but that's too late. Too late to get the dirty. Only two. Big suplex, though. And he doesn't have anything left in him. That's the problem here. Kind of blow for blow right here. Back and forth. How's the first one back up to his feet? And he's back up too. Big headbutt right in the corner. Bring him over. Ooh, big chop. Smooth move. James Stone tagged in. Kick right to his chest. Blows. Tagging Andy back in. Ooh. One. Two. Cal kicks out at two. Right in that corner there. Spears right there. Two, three. Uh, Ref calling for the clean break. Ah, oh, the eye gouge. Dirty ball. Dirty play by Cal Cassidy. Big spine buster. I think that's it. I think Andy's out. Cal going for the pin. One, two. Ah, uh, still only two. Cal trying to figure out what else he has to do to keep Andy down. Ooh, cleaned his clock right there. Blake Bannon tagged back in the match. James Stone just in the corner there, watching helplessly as his partner's just absolutely demolished right now. There's nothing he can do. I mean, if he wanted to play a little dirty, he could just jump in the ring right there. Jawjacker right there. Johnny boy's getting hot! He's getting hot! Will he be able to get it? Will he be able to get the TNG? In comes Tag. In comes Cal. In comes the Stony Boy! Wait a minute. Where's he going? No. Whoa! Big his body up and over the ropes. Wow. I don't like the look in his eyes. I see that. Wait a minute. I see that look in his eyes before Fuego. Up and over. Was so spicy. Is that, is that the only thing you know how to say? Pretty much. Pretty much. I also know how to say, stop calling me to him. Pick some up. 
Talk about the late tonight experience. Picking up their first victory and the tag team competition. That match was so spicy. See this? Everyone. Did I do it right? Master, please don't have a it here. Okay, well, it looks like Mr. Fouts is going to come back from behind the curtain, so I better go before he sees me. Yeah, I, I don't think you're supposed to be here in the first place. Don't you? Oh, we'll be right back after this commercial break. What are you looking for? Do you need quality furniture? Do you need a good price? Do you need good customer service? What are you looking for? McGregor's has it. McGregor's has it. McGregor's has it! We're here to help. We are here to help you. We are literally here to help you. Seriously. Seriously. We want to help you. So stop in. Stop into Marshalltown. Stop into Waterloo. Come see us at the Atoma McGregor's Furniture and Mattress Store. Stop into McGregor's Furniture and Mattress. Right. Hey, sorry about that, buddy. Didn't mean to leave you there stranded. I, I had no clue what to do. They, they just threw me off this. Hey, that's all right. But now we're back better than ever. Austin Fouts, whatever we're calling Daniel today, Let's here's King Sir. Right Man, that scheme of your boy Andy and James Snow in the late night express. Those guys are pretty dope. Are you guys ready for another match? This match is right before intermission, but this is a no disqualification match. Welcoming to the ring first, he is the Wanderer. The Wanderer. Look at this big son of a gun. One scary dude, the water, stepping into this, this match, this no disqualifications match. This is a, a rubber match between Angus Kaiser and the Wanderer. Both men have a score, it's one to one. Who is gonna walk out of this match? The victor of the feud. I was told it all ends here tonight. And will that be the case? We're gonna find out under the no disqualification stipulation. Hanging that hammer on those guardrails. That surely is not going to get us our insurance policy back. Not even a high five for little Timmy. What a jerk. Riley, vowing to end Angus Kaiser here tonight. Oh, 
Are those ropes baby take a beating like that, Austin? Who knows? Now next up, who do we have here? None other than the big bad bull himself! Angus Kaiser with the rodeo rod on his wrist, paying tribute to our fallen brother who passed away a year ago. And new Angus Kaiser merch out. I saw it earlier, this stuff was selling like hotcakes. If you want to get your own, be sure to contact Angus Kaiser on Facebook or be sure to stop him at a rugged pro wrestling show to get the latest and greatest Angus Kaiser merchandise. And you can tell everybody here in the crowd loves Angus. Except for that kid. Come on, guys, let's go. Those Team Angus shirts. Look at that. Those. At the merch table. I'm going to have to make a stopover after this match, Austin. Absolutely. That Rodeo Ron pillow. The family of Rodeo Ron here in attendance tonight. And Angus Kaiser vowing, honoring this match in the name of Rodeo Ron. Yeah. Angus Kaiser giving a big hug to the children of Adam Love, his good friend, who will be competing in our main event in a hardcore championship ladder match. TLC! May I add? Can't forget the TLC there. But before we get there, we have this monumentous matchup. Angus Kaiser. Oh, wait, look at this. Is he going to do the Triple H? Big oh. oh, camera shaking for that. Angus Kaiser, as I was saying. The monumentous matchup, Angus Kaiser, the Wanderer, colliding here inside the Rugged Pro Ring tonight. This is a whole lot of meat sitting right in that ring. A whole lot of man meat going meat to meat. Calling for the Redigling. This match is underway, baby. Huge colossal forces face to face right now. Almost 800 pounds of man, not counting the referee, in the ring right now. Come on, people! Come on, people! Angus trying to get the crowd. G. Ooh. Come on, people! Ooh. Wonder returning one of his own. Back and forth, blow for blow. Meat flying across the ring. Left and right, raining down. Come on. Ah. Big clothesline. Puts down the Wanderer. Another one from Angus there. Lining him up. Big close line. Oh! Not able to get him over though. There he goes. goes. No easy feat. The 350 pound wanderer just got lobbed over that top rope like he was a sack of potatoes. I felt the ground shape when he hit. So did I. Angus looking for some toys. He uh, found that kendo stick. I really don't like where this is headed. Let's have some fun. This beat is sick. He wants to take a ride on Angus's kendo stick. And boom! Oh! That whack right across the back. Oh, 
right to the gut. Another! The Wanderer just feeling the pain of this. But at the same time waiting, saying, come on, hit me already. Oh, going for the eyes, though. The Wanderer had enough. Big headbutt right to Anal Geyser. Oh, the Wanderer's got a baseball bat. Nah. Strike one. Oh, strike two. That solid steel baseball bat across the back of Angus. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, come on. What kind of shenanigans are they doing right now? Oh, just oh, the tape. Oh. his shoulder. Uh, uh, the way I want to be left. Nothing dry about Angus right now. Uh, no. uh, oh, right on the back again. Uh, 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 boots to young Angus. Angus fighting back here. Wait a minute. Nah. Oh, no. no. What are they going to do? Oh, so oh. Black. Right onto that bare floor. Right on that hard wood floor. Talk about free packages. These floors are made for b-balling, not for stalling suplexes. And Angus Kaiser. Oh, look at that. Angus Kaiser. Just beaten up. Going right after the Wanderer, though. Slamming the Wanderer into the barricade now. Not again. No! Some soup for dinner! Suplex right on the floor again! Angus Kaiser! Barely moving! And he's the one who gave the move! Both these men will do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to walk out of this match the victor. On that baseball bat back in the ring. And a kendo stick. And the tape. And that pipe. What's up, cameraman? Looks like Angus is just emptying out underneath the ring. Anything and everything he could find is sitting on that canvas. Sure is Shania Twain. Looks like another kendo stick getting thrown in there. Oh, no, a pipe, another pipe. What is that one? Maybe it's just a wooden dowel. That, that's just a cardboard dowel. Yeah, it looks like a toilet paper roll to me. Yep, that, that's my bad, ladies and gentlemen. But look at that, I'm gonna try it on. And the whole damn kit caboodle.
Ladder and Sledgehammer still in the ring as well. And there's another kendo stick. Oh, and a door! What the hell do we have a door under the ring for? What practical use do we have for a door under the ring? Grab that door. Showing off for the crowd, showing everybody what's going on. Trying to figure out a way to get that big honker in the ring. Saying, hey, forget it. Just slamming in on, on Big Angus now. Got that kendo stick again. Here's the one with the baseball oh. bat! Strike three, you're out of here. The bat to the bread basket, now the back. We got bees for days, baby. Ooh. Right across the shoulder blades. Is that gonna be enough? Two. Barely able to kick out though. Now the water is choking. And it's all legal. And it's all legal. Two. Still only two. Choking Angus with the kiddo stick. Will Angus be able to make it through this? And he's out, driving back the Wanderer into the corner. Big splash! Putting the Wanderer down onto his booty. Uh-oh. I think Angus has something in mind for his. Pop out clothesline. Angus was going for that big hip attack. But the water just drove up out of nowhere and clothesline. Angus down. He's choking him again, though. Tell him to stay down. Is he going to snap his fingers? No. No. Up. Oh, wow. I hope he doesn't use his right hand for anything. The water must be hanging out with Cody Kramer. Those vicious finger snaps. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. I know I said whatever it takes, but this is too much. Wander or no? Using that hammer to sit Angus up. No, 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 no! Angus catching the hammer in midair! Picks him up! No DS! Wow! The whole building just shook on that one. 
I still can't get over. Angus Kaiser just caught a 45 pound sledgehammer out of thin air. How insane is that? And you heard the thud of the sledge. That's no fake sledgehammer. Oh, 100%. I heard that hit the floor. Let's just hope the landlord did it. Oh! Those hammer blows. Here comes the big one. Bow! The whole ring shifting on that. Goose, goose! Bam! How about another? Sidewalk slam! Bow! Go for the pin. One, two. Ooh, only two. two three. I guess he's exhausted here. Siskin, what more could he do? That's what we're all wondering. What is it going to take? Who is going to give? The immovable object meeting the unstoppable force. Dirty old Angus, straps coming down. That door getting thrown into the ring now. Oh, baseball bat below the hole. Wandy setting up that door in the corner. Get your cameras ready. Go. Got him by the Google. Is he gonna choke slam? Angus through that door. Fighting them off now. There's no way. No. That's 350 pounds. He's got him up. No. Holy buckets. A1. A1. That's it. Go for the pin, Angus. One, two, three. Oh my God. Angus Kaiser's done. Closing the chapter in this story. Angus Kaiser has beat the Wanderer. No disqualifications match. What a victory for the Big Bad Bull. What an amazing outcome. Couldn't have gone any better for the Big Bad Bull. Angus Kaiser. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We have more rugged pro wrestling action coming your way. What are you looking for? Do you need quality furniture? Do you need a good price? Do you need good customer service? What are you looking for? McGregor's has it. McGregor's has it. McGregor's has it! We're here to help. We are here to help you. We are literally here to help you. Seriously. Seriously! We want to help you. So stop in. Stop into Marshalltown. Stop into Waterloo. Come see us at the Atoma McGregor's Furniture and Mattress Store. Stop into McGregor's Furniture and Mattress. And look at this, already announcing him. There he is, the Shank. Accompanied by that no good, dirty, rotten, Bridgerton Fox. Is Bridgerton even alive? You really 
really hope he wouldn't be. But the, unfortunately, it sounds like Bridgerton's megaphone's not working, so. Thank God. If I have to hear his voice one last time. Well, you can still hear him. This, just the shank letting everybody know that he hates him. individuals in Rugged Pro, he is definitely one of the most deadly. Brandon the Shank Banks has been around for a good while, and he is not somebody that I would take lightly. A legitimate MMA background, and has taken, he's a former Rugged Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champion, somebody I would not mess with. And here he is, representing JPWA Training Academy, Aiden Parent. It looks like the crowd loves him here. Taking a selfie. Making sure to give everybody here in old wine a lot of love. What he's doing here at Reddit Pro, looking to make a name for himself right here. Show that he belongs on the roster. That's what he wants to do. Will he be able to overcome the shank? somebody better to represent the company than a shank when it comes to new talent coming in to see if they have what it takes. The modern day outlaw, Aiden Perrin. Like I was saying earlier in his entrance, Aiden Perrin representing the Jacobs Pritchard Wrestling Academy down in Tennessee. Trained by WWE superstar, WWE Hall of Slash, WWE Hall of Famer, Glenn Jacobs, AKA Kane. And T Dr. Tom Pritchard, the man responsible for training all of your favorite wrestlers. From The Rock, all the way down to Kofi Kingston. Shanks ready. Call for that bell, here we go! Tie up there. Fight here. Time. Shank getting backed up into the corner. Ooh, nice reversal by Shank. Ooh, ducks it. What? Although kind of a sleazy move, that thing. Also, he's very smart by Shane. Take a minute, we get you the first get your game played for you. Oh, we collect him over here. Gotta chat up with the old Foxy. And he's gotta be careful, he's only got to the count of 10. You don't think the Shank knows that? A ring general, the Shank. You know, I think the Shank is pretty smart, but he is with Bridget and Fox.
Feeding up. Oh, big clothesline. Wait, Fox getting up on the corner. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Who would love to do that? Short arm lariat. One, two, only two. Only two for Aiden. Keep trying to figure out what else he has to do here. Tuning up here. The modern day outlaw! He's hunting him down! What's he gonna do? The oh, shit no, no, no. Wait a minute! He's doing it up! TKO! 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 That's it! That's it! That's it! Two! Three! Just like that! Just like that! The shit is your winner! What a matchup, ladies and gentlemen! Thanks for trying, Aiden. Maybe next time, the Shank adds another W to his win belt. Oh, no, look at this. The disrespect by Bridgerton and Fox. Just rub me. Wait a minute! Oh, push it. Just shook it. Look at that. It's throwing Fox out of there. Who knows, maybe Aiden Perry will get another shot here in Rugged Pro Wrestling. Who will he take on next time? Will he try to get another one up, up in the shank? Or will the shank continue on this dominant streak? Ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back after these messages. You want to be a pro wrestler? Contact Rugged Pro today. Classes start March 26th in Marshalltown, Iowa. Training will be headed by none other than Justin Fowler. Pro wrestling superstar Indy Darling will be taking the helm of the Rugged Pro in-ring training portion of our training classes. Sign up today. Yeah, we're Welcome back. To the there he is. Look at the dirty little Daniel running down to the ring. 335 pounds. He is... Tasty Tom, Kramer. Cody Kramer. This should be an interesting one. And there he is. Look at him, Cody Kramer. A copy to the ring by Resendez. Fans running. Do you see that? Fans literally running from Cody Kramer. Official in ring debut for Cody Kramer. What is going to happen when this man is let loose on the Rugged Pro Wrestling roster? Dude, look at him. He looks like a psychopath. Yeah, Daniel, and the sky is blue. What else can you say about the freak known as Cody Kramer? Tasty one! Tasty! Tom! Boom! Tasty Tom Boom! Warn your girl phones when she don't want to be alone. A crowd loving Tasty here, baby. Tasty Tom ready to show everybody what is up! Here in O-Town! Here we 
Resendez in that eerily empty mask, that just plain black mask. Resendez is wearing outside the ring. The silent but scared, I mean, something but deadly Resendez. I just don't know how I should feel about it. The feeling is mutual, and here's the big tie up! Casey Top backed up into the corner there. Uh, immediately overpowered by Cody Kramer. Oh, come on. Bring him out of the corner, Cody. Oh! Big forearm smash it, just club it down on Tasty. Here it comes hip attack. Big hip attack from Cody Kramer. Trying to bring back a little thunder. No, wait a minute. Nah. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Picks him up for a big slam. I don't know what's scarier, Cody Kramer or his followers, the Cody Kramer fans. Look at what? What, is, what kind of sick person is Cody Kramer? He just wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. No. Tell Cody no. Cody. Cody. No. Cody. Please. No. Be careful. No. Tom. Tom. Just, Tom, just give up. Tom, just give up. Come on. Come on. Oh! Did you hear that? The smack of Tom Bones' fingers. Cody Kramer just taking way too much joy in this. On top, right back into the ring. Tasty kill. Look at that. that was training blows. But immediately, just like before, Cody Kramer. Oh, wait a minute. Cody Kramer taking back control. We're going to see here. Wait a minute. Tasty Tom in the tree of wool. What is Cody going to do here? Just stomping at the face. Here he comes. Hip attack. And Tom just collapsing. Cody Kramer is taking pleasure and just destroying every fiber of Tasty Tom's being here. But wait a minute! Tom tried for a clothesline. And another! No! It's like a brick wall. Ducks it. Big flying line! Takes Cody Kramer off his feet! Come on, Tasty! Come on! You can do it, my man! Get him, come on! Only two. But how impressive that Tasty Tom was even able to take Cody Kramer off his feet. That's a feat in itself. Tom says it's done. Wait. No, nope. Tom's gonna go for a flatliner. But getting shucked off. Thrown into the ropes. End of days. End of days. Just like that, Cody Kramer picks up his first victory in Rugby Pro Wrestling. The referee better watch himself. This man right here.
raising his arm. Ladies and gentlemen, Cody Kramer has been unleashed on Rugged Pro Wrestling. Here we are. What do you guys think of that match? Back right before the main event. For Pro. I said make a little noise for Rugged Pro. I, I, I heard this room do better. I'm going to try this one more time. Last tonight, as always, showing up in Old Wine, Iowa. And here he is, the man himself, Seto Kabara. Definitely making his rounds, making his name known. A four, oh, look at that, trying to scare the fans. A former Rugged Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champion and set up. Now making his singles, big singles run here. He does not need to be an attack team to be a successful defender. Bernard clearly does not like Seto here tonight. I don't blame them one bit. Definitely a colorful character, so to say. Here comes his opponent, the Rebel, Alvin Gray. Very well known on the independent scene, but not very well known in Rugged Pro. And now he is here on one of the biggest stages in the Midwest, Rugged Pro Wrestling, to prove that he has what it takes to make it here. Crowd hot for Alvin, as always. Everyone loves the Rebel. That Rebel flag waving high. Absolutely, here he comes with a big flag smash. Showing exactly, he is a Rebel without a cause. Alvin Gray, here to make a statement to Seto Kamara. Settle looking Alvin Gray up and down. Ready to put up a fight here tonight. Referee JD Daniels checking over Settle, make sure he doesn't have any weapons on him tonight. Quite the, uh, the conniving character. Wouldn't expect anything less. Going over to check. Ah, oh, come on, Alvin. Seto's ready for a fight. He's he doesn't even want to wait. Calling for the bell. Ring the 
I'm gonna try to get the crowd hyped up here. Big tie up right in the center of the ring. Alvin getting set up right in the headlock. Trying to torque it in there. Set up coming back up. Hammered away at the waist. Trying to break that headlock away. Nice reversal right there. Set up's got Alvin in the headlock. Squeezing away, Alvin slowly slipping out. What's he gonna do? Oh, he's got that. He's got that wrist lock. Seto trying to get out of that. Oh, stop it on the toe. Reverses it. What's wrong? Seto twerking on that arm. Try to pull that arm right out of Alvin's socket. Back into the headlock again. Alvin working his way, trying to get out of that. Pushing Seto against the ropes. Shoots him off. Leaps over. Up. Drop kick. Knocks Seto right on his back. Big clubbing blow right to the back of the neck. Seto misses the strike. Ooh! Big backdrop. Seto rolling out of the ring, taking a minute just to regain his composure. Alvin sliding out too. Alvin's not gonna let him have any rest time. Back in the ring. Oh! Seto getting the best of them there. Seto stomping on that left knee of Alvin Gray. Down. Ooh! Sitting right down. Seto trying to snap Alvin's leg. Picks him up. Oh. What's he, what's he doing here? No. Ooh! Knee on knee contact right there again. Alvin's not gonna be able to walk. This keeps going, but any much longer. Ooh! Oh, wow, just throwing him back like it's nothing. Big blow right to the side of the face. No. No. Gotta work that leg again. Ooh, Alvin goes for the kick and misses. Oh, smashing that knee right into the mat. That definitely can't feel good at all. Seto focusing on that left leg. Getting Alvin back up to his feet. Big blow right to the side of his face. Knocks him right back down. This is Seto's moment. He is showing everyone who he is and why he is here. Seto twerking on that leg. No. What's he? Ooh! Flings it right into the corner there. Ava goes face first right into that turnbuckle. Instead of raking Alvin's face right along the ropes there. Ooh! 
Ooh! Pull the arm right out of the socket there. Go for the pin. One. Woo! Oh, only one. That just shows the fight and Alvin Gray to not give up. You gotta think, man. Maybe there's next time. Maybe there's next time, but I think Alvin understands that in this world, in this business, there is not always a second. Oh my God! At some point, you just have to cut your losses and make sure you can walk away alive. Alvin, if you don't, if he might not have a career if he doesn't give up here soon. Settle's got that leg again. No! Oh my! I don't know if Alvin can take much more of this. But that locked it again. Instead of pulling Alvin away from the ropes, he almost had that. I'll try to get back to the ropes. Oh, he's got the rope. Three, four. Settle's got to let go. Come on, Alva can barely stand here. Somebody's got to call this match. Alva here trying to swing. Ooh, big step up. Big clothesline from Alvin Gray. Back elbow. Back Neck breaker. That's it. Come on, Alvin, capitalize. This is your chance, kid. Come on. He's got the pin. One, two. Oh, only two. There's a glimmer of hope right now for Alvin Gray. Trying to get back up to his feet, but he can barely stand. Alvin getting ready to jump back into the ring. Settle rolling out. Settle tapping his dog. And he's, he's making the smart move here. Take a breather, recollect yourself. Now, nah, come on. Wow! Oh, big crossbody by Alvin. Both middle of the ground outside of the ring. They gotta remember though, they gotta get back inside. This, this match can't finish out there. Roland Seto back inside. Watch out! Alvin's trying to capitalize. We've got to roll up. One, two. Ooh, so close right there. That's just a matter of inches. Alvin trying to get Seto back up to his feet. Nah. No. I'm going up. Reversal. Ooh! Face first, Alvin goes into the bat. Oh! Settle going right back in that knee. He's got the submission in. It's locked in, Alvin's got no choice. He's right in the middle of the ring. He taps, Alvin tap. Call for the ball. Now let go, damn it. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, your winner. Seto Kimura, picking up another huge victory here in Rugged Pro Wrestling. What a match. What a match indeed. What a fight Alvin put up as well. But it wasn't enough. 
Falsetto picks up another win. It is 2023 Logan Pro Wrestling Year. We will be right back with our main event after these brief messages. March 26th in Marshalltown, Iowa. Training will be headed by none other than Justin Fowler. Pro wrestling superstar Indy Darling will be taking the helm of the Rugged Pro in-ring training portion of our training classes. Sign up today. What are you looking for? Do you need quality furniture? Do you need a good price? Do you need good customer service? What are you looking for? McGregor's has it. McGregor's has it. McGregor's has it. We're here to help. We are here to help you. We are literally here to help you. Seriously. Seriously. We want to help you. So stop in. Stop into Marshalltown. Stop into Waterloo. Come see us at the Atoma McGregor's Furniture and Mattress Store. Stop into McGregor's Furniture and Mattress. Superstar trained in South Korea with Pro Wrestling Society South Korea, and now he's here in rugged pro wrestling. And the one thing he has not done in his career is collect a singles title. Will tonight be that night? Will he be, as you can see, hanging above the ring, the first ever rugged pro wrestling hardcore champion? Now the resident rock star. There he is, Oh I Zone, Adam Love. Look at this. The crowd is swarming him. All the kids here are excited to see Adam Love, Orion's hometown boy, get the chance of a lifetime. And that damn chance is here with the Rugged Pro Wrestling Hardcore Championship suspended above the ring. Only one can be champion. Who will it be? So excited, so you can already see the nerves getting to him. This is the biggest match of his career. Will he be able to capitalize? Hometown is lit for out of love right now. You can see the whole building shaking. Everybody losing their collective minds for Olwine's Adam Love. Reaches are starting to clear out. Just everybody's on the floor, on their feet for Adam Love. That is exactly right. Oh! 
lot of reaction for Adam Love. But here's the thing, will he collapse under the pressure? Or will he rise above? Will Adam Love finally be able to breathe again? Pointing to the sky, pointing up that title. Both men looking at the reason they are here. And that is the rugged pro wrestling hardcore champion. Shoving him out of the way there. Pushing him back now. And this match is underway. It's getting wild, baby. Are you going to do it? Oh! Rick's are rolling out of the ring really quick. Round big toe. <laughs> Kick to the spread to the gut. Adam already going under the ring got his eye on. This match has no rules though, so nobody's safe. Ah, oh, he's got a canoe stick. What's he, what's he got there? Ooh! <laughs> you can tell in the look of Frank's size face, he did not want any more of that. With a chair of his own. Ooh! Solid steel right across the spine of Adam Love. Ray picking up the kendo stick. Line it up. Ooh! You feel that thwack. He's choking him with it. Ray wasted no time, he's got a ladder already. Uh, how about two? Both? Ooh, Ooh, baseball slide. Just launches Ray. Dragging it over to the corner. Oh, wow. Oh, 
ladder bent. There's the third, there's the third part. There's the C in TLC. Tables, ladders, and chairs. All in the ring now. A pile there. I don't like the looks of this. Not one bit. You're on all the chairs. Ow, ow, ow. Ray, come on. Ray. Ray. Just, just get a family at home. <laughs> Closing that ladder on Adam Love. What? No. He's got the chair. Trying to go up top and get that belt. Is this enough? Is this what it takes? Ray Eckstein climbing to the top. Is he going to be champion? This is your moment, Ray. Get up there. Just now noticing. Oh! And down goes Ray. Just now noticing that JS across the arm of Ray Eckstein paying tribute to our fallen friend, Jason Strike. Climbing up. Why are Ray tipping it now? Adam caught up all those ropes. Now a lot of people don't realize is that is steel cable under a rubber coating. Def definitely unforgiving, Austin. Both these men. Tired of beat down, picked up alive, both men go down. Suck all the life out of that. He's got that chair again. Wait for Adam to get up. And oh, right across the skull. Back up top. Adam's still on the ground. Ray might actually take this one home. Ray 
Wait, Adamo, oh. get it back up. He's back up to his feet. Wait a minute. Cutter! Big cutter off the middle of that ladder. A risky move by Adamo. Both men pulling out all the stops. And that's what you need to do. No, this is a ladder match. This is a TLC match. All the stops. And this is not for any title. This is for the whole core title. You gotta be tough as nails to be the champion. And both these men are trying to prove just that here right now, ladies and gentlemen. Almost ripping out of it half. <laughs> Setting up that table now. I don't like to look at this. I see a ladder set up and I see a table awfully close to it. That can only mean one thing. Somebody's going up. Somebody's going down. Certainly, positively, absolutely. The question is, is who is it going to be and what's the matter? Ray XI on that table. Close to the chest, make sure Ray stays put. Adam, Adam Luck at the top of that ladder. I do not like the look of this. Adam, Adam, you don't need to do this. Good night. 